Hello everyone, I'm Deborah from Deborah Dell's Craft Room. I'm going to start painting a few Easter designs on gourds. So I'm going to start out with a little chick hatching out of an egg. I'm going to do it on a mini bottle gourd. So let's get started. These are the products that I'll be using for this project. They are Deco Art Americana acrylic paints and the colors are light buttermilk banana cream antique gold red iron oxide Winter Blue, Dazzling Metallics, and Burr's Gold. I'll also be using these acrylic paint markers because I can't find my black paint, if you can imagine that. And this uh, gold marker as well. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the uh, chick with the egg on this gourd. Now what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the, I'm going to have part of the, part of the egg be on top of his head. We've probably all seen these before. and. On Pinterest or whatever. So this is not an original idea. But it's cute. I'm making a zigzag around the uh, around the head. The stem is kind of in the way but I like it so I'm going to live through that. Of course, you have to find the front of the gourd first, the best side, which I already did before I started the video. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, like all of them, the, you know, same distance down or anything like that. Okay, now I'm going to just make a scratch a little line here. Not scratch, but put on a little line so I can use that to, you know, determine the base pieces of the egg, cracked egg. So around I'm going. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to make these this shell. Let me make sure I have the right spot here again. Okay, I'm going to make this shell and I'm going to make the egg cracks Halfway on, uh, halfway above, and halfway below the uh, line that I struck. The little zigzags are not going to match up. It'd probably be better if you didn't uh, didn't make them 
all the same size, although I tend to do that. I think it'd be better if you didn't. Okay. 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 Now it's all drawn. So far, I mean. Okay. We'll draw the details on the face later after it's all painted in. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to take this these out of here. These lines that are going to be part of the bottom half because I don't because we're going to be covering it with white or light buttermilk, I should say. And uh, it's a little harder to cover a pencil with light buttermilk than it is with the yellow. The yellow is more opaque than the light buttermilk, so I'm just going to take them out. Oh, we have some over here. Okay. Okay. The first color. I'm going to. I'm going to do the chicken first, because the egg is over the top of the chicken. So I like to put the paint on like it's in layers and I'm using a color called banana cream I think that's the name of it yes banana cream and you don't have to have it perfect because you can you know touch it up with a white when you get there you just start doing the I'll have to put two coats of this banana cream on I'm pretty sure but it does cover. I'm using a number six flat, but I think it might be a little big, so I might switch to a number four here in a minute.
Okay, I'm going to let this dry, but this is the first coat of the yellow banana cream. But you can use any light yellow you'd like. You can even use a bright yellow if you'd like. It's just the color of a little Easter chick is all that matters. Okay, I painted three coats and I went over the triangles here. But you can still see the lines because the first coat dried solid and then when I, when I wanted to get all the, the ridges out I just went flip, 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 flip like that. And, but you can still see the, the lines of the eggshell. So now I'm going to, now I'm going to paint the eggshell. It looks a little messy right now but it'll clean right up as soon as uh, as soon as I put the eggshell on. Okay, I have a number three round, and I'm going to use it to do the points of the eggshell. See, let's see if I got it. There you go. This will probably need three coats as well. If it wasn't winter outside right now and cold, I would probably have sprayed this whole gourd with kills and made it white to start with which would make this job of painting this egg so much easier but I didn't so I'm gonna suffer through all these layers of paint Okay, I am going to let this dry and then do two more coats of this white. Touch up any spots that look like they need another coat on the yellow. And I'll be back right after everything is solid. I haven't decided what color I'm going to paint the stem yet. So it'll probably be white, but I. I don't know when it's done, if it'll look like it could be red or orange or something like that. Okay, so I'll see you shortly. Okay, I have the little chick all base coated and ready to put the details on. Now I'm just trying to remember what the front is. Okay, I found it. Now, I'm going to draw in a beak. Let's see, something for a second. Okay, I'm going to draw in a little beak. And all it's going to be is a little diamond shape. Ok, 
Okay. This is going to be a simple project. So the eyes are just going to be dip dots and the beak is just going to be a little triangle. No, I'm sorry, diamond. Okay, and I'm using antique gold. And I'm going to paint in that the beak. I'm trying to find some, I'm trying to create some projects that are, there's not so much line work in them because that line work is wearing me down. It's a little bit difficult and and I think that with the beginning painters that are my subscribers, I think it would be nice for them too to not have to do so much line work. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let that beak dry. And I'll tell you, I bought a, a container of pens. Here they are. They are acrylic paint markers. And I thought this would help me with the, the line work trouble, but the black, it goes on a little thick for what I usually do. So um, I might, if I have line work, I'll probably still do it with a uh, brush. But I have some, I have a gold pen here, gold paint. And I thought that I would do the edges of the chicken egg with this gold. You shake it up. Let's see. Am I doing this right? No, nope, that's not right. I don't think I should have taken that off. I'll just pull it. There we go. Okay, so I have this pen right here and it hasn't been used yet. So I guess you just pump it until the ink comes down. There you go. Getting there. There we go. There's the ink. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to line this chicken egg with gold. Oh, I like that. You see it? And it's thicker than I would paint it on, but this is part of the design, not just part of the finish work, so it doesn't matter that it's thick. There's also a silver pen, which you could use instead, and there's some white pens. If there, you know, comes a, comes a time that you want to uh, line something with white. I'm really liking this. I think I'm still going to have to do some touch-up work because I'm going a little thick in a couple places, but not, not bad like see how it looks? I think it looks great. I think it looks great. I was thinking about this last night while I was trying to sleep. And it seems that I was thinking the right way. You can line with a brush and use gold paint if you want to. If you don't want to buy these pens, I think all of them, I don't know, see one, two, three, four, 
12 of them cost $12.99. I got them on Amazon because I love Amazon. Thing of beauty and a joy forever. And I don't think this is that marker, like permanent marker or anything. I think this is actually paint in here. Okay, I got the bottom done. Now I'm going to do the top. If I do anything else with an egg, I'm going to try the silver on it too. See which one I like best. When you do your beak, have it be either right under one of the egg, egg points or if you want to put it in between two of them right there. You don't want it to be, you know, askew. Okay, well that's all done. That was simple and fun. Now I do have to touch up one little spot here. Because I made it too wide. Touch it up with the yellow. There we go. We'll see how it does when it's being touched up. I think I'll have to do two coats of touch up. Okay, and then there was a little spot up here on the white that I touched the you see, where is it? Where I touched the uh, pen down on while I was trying to, here, right here. Okay. This is so much easier than the uh, liner brush. Back in the old days, I used to be able to paint with a liner brush better than I could write with a pen. But I'm getting kind of old, I think. Old and shaky. And there's nothing you can do about that except buy some paint pens. Okay, now again I'm going to put another coat of There we go. Okay. I'm going to wait for that to dry, and I am going to line this with black. My black paint is missing. I don't know what happened to it. can't even imagine. Anyway, I'm going to use one of these pens instead. Okay. And I'm going to line this beak ever so carefully. Well, that's not too bad. Okay. All right. 
but I'm going to have to touch it up because it's too thick. See how thick that is? I'm going to touch it up with the uh, antique gold. Thin the lines out. This isn't too bad. I have to make the little beak line here. Again, it's too thick, but it'll be okay when I finish touching it up. Now, if this chicken was a big chicken, these lines would be okay, the thicker lines. Okay, now I'm gonna shade the beak. with some red iron oxide. I know you it's hard to find, but you can use uh, any other, you know, coppery color. Not really copper, it's rusty color to do the same thing. So now I'm going to, I'm, I have a number four flat, and I put the paint on the edge like this. And I set it down against the line, and I shade, I'm shading. See how that looks? Okay. What I do, I put water on the brush. I think I've taught this in some of my other videos. Water on the brush, touch it down, not hard, and then touch the side edge of the brush in the paint, and then shade. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna practice with that black pen to do the eyes because uh, I better practice a couple times. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, I'm just gonna put the pen down and press, see what happens. Oh, that's not too bad. It just leaked a little bit of paint out. I wish I had my black paint. This would be so much easier. Okay, here we go. Two little, uh, two little eyes. Now, I would normally do the eyebrows and the eyelashes with um, black. 
but I'm not going to because I just don't like this uh, thing. So I'm going to put, I'm going to do the eyelashes and the eyebrows with the red iron oxide. You can use burnt sienna and uh, I don't know what other colors there are, but there's one eyebrow. There's another eyebrow. It's coming out all right, I guess. I have to wait for the eyes to dry to do the eyelashes. Okay, now, um, just doing a little touch up here. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to try shading the eggs a little bit. I got a uh, blush pink. And I'm going to put it up right next to the gold and see how that comes out. I don't like it. I'm going to take this section out. Okay, I'm going to try shading it with blue. I think blue will work. Just the tiniest, tiniest touch of blue. Tiny, like you can't even see it. Blue. And just do one side of this thing at a time. Because when you meet down at the point, if it's wet still down there, it's going to, uh, it's going to mess it up. So we're going to go around. Blue's a nice Easter color too, so. This is winter blue. This will take a little bit, bit of time, and if you don't want to, if you don't want to shade it, you don't have to. It can be optional. Okay, now I'm going to go the other way, do the other side. Do them in the same order as last time, otherwise you might run into some wet paint the other direction. Okay, well, I think this looks pretty good now that it's... Uh, you see how that looks? Kind of eggy. Kind of robin eggy a little bit. But again, if you don't like it, don't do it. And if you're going to make a bunch of them, like for favors for Easter dinner table or anything like that. You might not want to you might not want to shade this many, so you might opt out of shading for that reason too.
It's not really that bad. There's a short distance to shade and it's not that hard. I'm seeing here. And if you do use a blue, you might want to use a silver instead of the gold. Okay, I'm going to go around the bottom now. Okay, I put little red eyelashes on. I prefer the black, but alas, my black is missing. Okay, now I'm going to uh, I'm going to put some uh, dip dots okay, on. I'm put some uh, gold buttons on this uh, chicken. The dip dot. See if I can get a third one in here. Yes. I kept looking at this chicken and trying to figure out what is missing. And it's the blush. So I'm going to blush these cheeks. I'm going to use a harder brush because these aren't really, there we go. I'm getting all this powder all over it. But I'm going to brush it off. Well there you go. Look at how cute that is now. And then the final step, besides touching up this paint here and there. Okay, I've decided that the uh, stem should be white. You don't need a stem this long. Just a tiny, tiny little one, just so it doesn't look like they're, the stem broke off is fine.
Okay. So here's the little chick. It's all painted. It does sit. So that's uh, why I selected this one. I don't know if you'll be wanting to hang it someplace, but if you do, then you just, you know, drill a hole in it like I show in my other videos. And oh, let me put a little bit of a, a dot in the eye. Okay, that's better. I haven't painted in a month or so, and I feel like I'm out of sync or something. <laughs> so, there he is. We have one last little feature. Hang on just a second now. If I was a little taller, I would have a blue ribbon on his neck because it looks like a little boy to me. But my ribbon was up in a container way up high in the closet and these bows were already made and I found one in one of the drawers. So that's why, that's why I used this one. But this is not a bad color, it's cute. So there's your little chicken. If you'd like to, you can put dip dots on the egg. I would put light blue dip dots on the egg or a mix of colors, pink and lavender and blue. And, you know, here and there, just to make it look like he popped out of an Easter egg instead of a regular chicken egg. So anyway, he's done, except for the polyurethane. I think he's kind of cute. Maybe in the morning I'll wake up and I'll think, oh, I think I'll put some dots on this. But for right now, I think he's done. Thank you very much for watching my video of a little Easter chick painted on a, uh, painted on a bottle gourd. Please subscribe to my channel and press the little bell so that you get notified if, when I uh, put up more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye now.